Hello and welcome everyone to this MOOC course on Information and Communications Technology. I am Yuvraj Samunt and today we will be dealing with the module on phishing. The emphasis of this module is to familiarize you with the basics of phishing and its origin, to elaborate on the various types of phishing and create awareness regarding the existing methods used to commit cyber crimes. To make you aware regarding the legal provisions governing phishing in today's scenario and the probable recourses available to you under any act or statute. To help you equip with the legal as well as practical understanding on the issue of phishing. Now let us look at the learning outcomes of this course. After the completion of this course, you will be able to successfully safeguard yourself from the possible attacks on your sensitive information and data. You would be able to access legal aid better and make an informed decision on your further course of action. You will be able to generate awareness in order to make your data safe and secure and so that it is not compromised from phishing attacks. You would be able to approach the concerned authority with ease in order to safeguard yourself and your data. Let us move on to the introduction of this module. As you are aware, we are amidst an online global revolution, which means we are connected to the internet 24-7. And that increases the chances of us being open to attacks. And we are vulnerable than ever before with the advent of technology and highly developed programming structures, phishing attacks are a major threat. There has been a 256% increase in online phishing attacks in quarter one of 2016, as a report by the anti-phishing working group suggested. Here you can see the graph which puts before you the sites detected which are under phishing from October 2015 to March 2016. Further ahead are some more statistics about phishing. 85% of the organizations have suffered phishing attacks in the recent past. It was found in a survey. As you can see in this figure, 60% of the sites were actually affected. Furthermore, 30% of the emails which were infected with phishing mails were opened by the employees of various organizations, as you can see from the graph here. The number one delivery vehicle for malwares is supposed to be email attachments. And this graph here will tell you how it is one of the most popular methods for carrying out phishing attacks. In a survey, it was found that over $1.6 million every organization loses to phishing attacks. Let us move a little further. What is this phishing? How does it take place? The Oxford Dictionary has defined phishing. And they state, the fraudulent practice of sending emails purporting to be from reputable companies or organization in order to induce individuals to reveal personal information such as passwords, credit card details, and numbers online is supposed to be phishing. Now you might be thinking, how did this word Phishing, which starts from P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, come from the etymology of the word phishing is American. And it is made up of two words, freaking plus phishing. Freaking, which is spelled as P-H-R-E-A-K-I-N-G, is the act of 
hacking into telephone lines to have access to free calls or to dial up internet. When in the past people used to have dial up internet connections or telephones, telephone calls were very expensive. And phishing, as you might be aware, is an action of laying a bait to catch an unsuspecting victim. Or the concept of phishing is essentially laying a bait to catch a fish. And as phishing took on gigantic proportions to improve the situation and to nab the cyber perpetrators, the police department of the state of Karnataka opened the first cyber police station in the city of Bangalore in 1999. And further, the Information Technology Act of 2000 was amended in the year 2008, 2008 to be at par with the world standards and to catch the ever increasing cyber crimes, especially the cyber crime of phishing. Now, how does this phishing concept works? Or how does a phishing attacker attacks his unsuspecting victim? The typical phishing email, the typical phishing email of today looks like a legitimate email from some organization such as a bank and contains a link to the web page that looks exactly like the original web page. But the catch is, it isn't the original web page. It is a mirror site which is infected and compromised by the fishers, but which is controlled by an attacker. On this page, the user is prompted to log in and any data or entry which is made in is captured by the attacker and the credentials are sent to the fisher. Now here is a diagram or a pictorial representation of how the entire method of phishing takes place. As you are aware, the fraudsters build a fake site and they send thousands of emails which contain a link in them and this link is to a site which is a fake site. The victims click on the link in the email believing it is a legitimate link but they are caught and their personal information is thereafter transferred to the fraudsters. The fraudsters compile this data and sell it online or use it for themselves.